This release of vRealize CodeStream extends role-based access control to pipelines, allows you to resume a pipeline from points of failure and view the overall status on the dashboard, supports an external remote JFrog Artifactory repository server, provides a plugin SDK to develop customized plugins for vRealize CodeStream. vRealize CodeStream 2.2 is supported with vRA 7.2. To support continuous integration and development in your release automation pipeline, vRealize CodeStream integrates with various external systems through the use of plugins. With this version of CodeStream, Artifactory is now an external server that hosts your artifacts. Artifactory is no longer embedded in the vRealize automation appliance. To integrate CodeStream with an external system, you add and configure an endpoint. The release pipeline then accesses the external system through that endpoint. The role-based access control capabilities provide pipeline authors with the option to restrict design and execution operations on a per-pipeline basis. To apply role-based access control for users or groups on a pipeline, in vRealize Automation, click Administration, Users and Groups, Directory Users and Groups. Search for the username. Click the username and set the roles for the user to include Release Engineer and or Release Manager. Click the vRealize CodeStream tab, select a pipeline, and click Edit. In the Permissions area, add the username to the list of Release Engineers and or Release Managers and save your changes. You can also give permissions to groups. Failures can occur because of transient issues, network outages, or storage issues. When a failure occurs in a pipeline, you can resume the pipeline execution from the point of failure. Click Pipeline Executions. Select the failed pipeline. Examine the reason for the failure. Correct the problem. Click Resume Execution to restart the fail task or the parallel tasks. On the dashboard, view the resumed pipeline executions and overall status. CodeStream maintains an audit trail that highlights the resumed tasks, timestamp, and user information. The dashboard displays the overall status of pipeline executions, including those that were resumed. On the dashboard, users can take action. Release engineers can trigger pipelines. Release managers can modify and trigger pipelines. Users who do not have these roles can rerun or resume a failed pipeline, but cannot modify a pipeline or launch a new one. The vRealize Automation Appliance no longer embeds Artifactory. To use JFrog Artifactory, you must set up an external version. With this version of CodeStream, you must upgrade your vRealize Automation Appliance. Add an endpoint for the remote JFrog Artifactory server. Configure the endpoint to include the Artifactory server URL, user, and password. Add a JFrog Artifactory task so that you can search for artifacts in the remote Artifactory repository. vRealize CodeStream supports Artifactory server version 4.3 and later. With the plugin SDK for vRealize CodeStream, you can create your own plugins to extend the capability of vRealize CodeStream, create customized tasks to add to your CodeStream pipelines. The plugin SDK includes tools to build your own Java based plugins, example data types, tiles, and views, sample REST plugin, and user documentation. The components you create interact with the pipeline in vRealize CodeStream as shown here. The top area is the pipeline lifecycle in vRealize CodeStream. The bottom area shows how the plugin SDK lifecycle aligns with the pipeline lifecycle. For more information about vRealize CodeStream, see pubs.vmware.com.